Okay, we're back here at the same scene again. After doing a little more searching, we found some more blood stains. So what we're seeing here on the wall, uh, this is about a foot, foot and a half off the ground. We see not only what appears to be a blood transfer stain um, with a large enough volume to leave a flow down the side of the wall that uh, is consistent with the flow of gravity, but then also up a little higher on the wall, you see an elliptical blood stain. So I'm guessing that this is some form of a cast off or blood was maybe on the person's arm or a finger and got flung off onto the surface. But you do see a good elliptical blood stain there. Um, definitely if we were looking at this as a crime scene, we would want to come back and do some testing. But you can tell that there was something happened here with enough bleeding to cause drip stains. And then also a transfer pattern on the wall with some flows and then also a good elliptical blood stain on the wall.